There are over 1,400 officers on the Denver Police Department. And just like you, we have lives, families, and a lot of us do some pretty extraordinary things out of uniform. Our accomplishments usually go completely unnoticed. But now, finally, we get a chance to tell you our stories. We're getting ready to go contact a wanted felon. Hey, I'm getting close. <laughs> Numerous felony warrants. This is of breaking into houses, stealing cars. All right, give me location one more time. Northwest corner of 10th and Decatur. I used to live in those projects. At Silver Honda. All right, ready? Denver police, let me see your hands. No weapons on you, right? I'm Officer Gerald Sloan. Keep your feet wide, buddy. I am currently assigned to the Denver Police District 1 Narcotics Unit. You got some dope. Average day for us, there was cocaine in her purse. We hit our hot spots, the area where we know drug dealers hang out. A little bit of crystal, a little eight ball. That's our main function, go after guys with drugs. So you got any dope on you? With this position, you have to be a highly proactive cop. I conduct traffic stops, pedestrian stops, run informants, file cases. When no record comes back, Somebody's lying. My job is not typical of a regular patrol officer, you would say. We know the game, right? I don't have the opportunity to just rely on a radio call. I have to go out and try to find something. Greatest job in the world, huh? The pressure is on, which I like, because I like going after and finding bad guys. Just another day at the office. I start my day at 9 o'clock at District 1. 71 to dispatch. I'm Coach 6 at District 1. Then right after my eight hour shift, I do another three to four hour shift afterwards coaching football. Go! Good drive. Coach! Let's go, let's go. I'm the head coach of the Denver Police. There you go. Pal Hawks. <laughs> the team is filled with. Keep your head up! 12, 13, and 14 year olds. We got a big game Saturday. We got the Falcons. Pal is the Denver Police Athletic League. Squeeze your shoulder blades back! Pal essentially is a program that helps at-risk youth. Everybody back up. Try to get them in sports instead of jail cells. Good, all right, go, three laps. It's different dynamics for this team. <laughs> you know, we have a lot of single mothers, single parents, grandmothers taking care of the kids. All for sound, ready? Right. Get there, get there, get there. Good, so it's more than just football to me. Your car detailer? Yeah. You can detail my car. That's what I tell my boys, is me being here for you guys, and I'm not gonna run out on you guys. And that's the message I stretch to the boys, is like, I'm here for the long haul. You know, we're not compensated through the police department, but I love doing it. You're gonna play right guard, I'm sorry. Aaron, you're gonna play left guard. All right, there's no problem with that. One thing that I love about my team, we are a big family, and that's something that I wanna stress to the boys, is more than just wins and losses, it's a family. All right, fellas, let's go, bring it in, bring it, let's go. We break down as one, two, three, family, Four, five, six, team. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Yeah. All right, go to your individual coaches. We stress that from day one. We are family first in your team. These are lifelong friends you're gonna have. I actually grew up just a little west of this area, right off of a tinted Decatur at the Sun Valley Projects. I actually played for the same exact team, the Pal Hawks, at the same exact field. I came from a single parent household. The biggest thing my mom used to say is, how do you raise a man as a woman? Essentially said, use sports. Hook up with a great coach and the coach will guide you through. I knew this was my opportunity to come back and make a better experience for the next kid coming up for these set of Hawks that I have on my team. Go! Unfortunately, we weren't provided with all the tools that we necessarily needed. Line up on me. Line up on them. Let's go. Get on your pads. You know, we didn't have the best jerseys. We didn't have the best of anything. All right, David, grab a ball. Keep coming up. Probably about a week and a half ago. Mo, get behind Jace. I was talking to my team, and they're like, Coach, can we get new jerseys? I spoke to the parents, and the parents were like, yeah, it sounds nice, but realistically, we just can't afford that. I started to poke around a little bit, see what I could do financially, and I was like, I think I could do it. Wow, that is sharp. We've been using the same old jerseys for a long time. The boys are gonna love it. 52. Youth large, yep. 21. He is right there. Youth large. The 
Let's get the balance taken care of, and then we'll go from there. Man, I'm excited just to get the boys their jerseys. I can't wait to see their faces when they see them, because I haven't told them anything about him and tell them the color. Thank you, my man. You guys did an awesome job. You are good. I'm good to go. You are good to go. Thank you for everything. Absolutely. Jerseys came out. They're amazing. I'm surprised how well they came out. Nobody knows anything. It's going to be a good shocker for them. Players, listen up. Parents, the jerseys came out to $2,900. That's the bad news. The good news is it's going to cost you guys nothing. OK? The entire setup. I'm donating the entire cost for the jerseys, OK? Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's my gift to you guys, and that's a gift to you parents, OK? All right, let's do this right. Number 30, Roy, 16, Bersiaga, Vasquez. I think there's going to be something they're going to remember for their entire life. Thank you, Coach. I mean, it'll be a jersey they can hang on to when they get older, when they can look back in the attic, when they pull the jersey out, and they can show their kids, like, wow, you know, this is a jersey I wore when I played football. Thank you. I think it means more than just a jersey. It's like a completion of the task at hand. In 2007, I graduated at Denver Police Academy. I was right at 22, just barely 22. During that summer, a Denver PAL representative reached out to me and said, hey, we would love to have a cop as a coach. I just finished the academy. This was a very stressful moment in my life, but I jumped on board thinking it's going to be just a one-year agreement, just hanging out, coach for a year. But then uh, I ended up falling in love with it and staying for the next seven. First year, all the players were the age of six. My mother, you know, she struggled, and I got to witness it firsthand. You know, I have lived the life, and I know what it's like to be without something. So I will never want these kids to be without any opportunity. I knew after I left my first year, it would be the same type of new coaches every year, nothing consistent, nothing stable. And I didn't want to leave that type of impression on them. So I committed to riding it out until they finish middle school. Keep sending them over. This is my seventh year playing for them. Six years. Seven years. Five years. I've only been on the team for a year, and he's already taught me way more than I can even imagine he could. Rotate it so I see the hawk. For him to have that kind of commitment. There you go. To come coach the Hawks is just amazing. Like He's done so much for me personally, along with the rest of my teammates. Move over a little bit. Take a knee right there. Grab the ball. Let me see the laces. He's taught me just to stay out of trouble, to do the best you can in everything. All right, here you go. He's like pushing me every year to do better. Big smile, looking right at me. He supported me when I was getting into trouble at school sometimes. He'll pull me off to the side and just talk. Just straight up. Teeth, smile, come on, this is for your girlfriend. There you go. A lot of us are single moms. A lot of the kids, they, you know, they, they look up to him. So, I mean, it is a father figure type of role that he's in, too, for a lot of these boys. Is that good? Yeah. 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 Oh, that looks good. You look mean enough? Mm -hmm. Even in the beginning, he told us all. He didn't grow up with his dad. So it means a lot, I think, as well to him that he can be there for these boys in that manner, too. We're going to do a team picture. OK, follow him. Follow, follow. You know, the boys understand and know that he doesn't have any kids of his own, and he's just doing this on his own free will because he wants to. You know, most coaches, they'll have a son or somebody on the team that they know of, and they know that Sloan is just doing it strictly for the boys. Coaches, get in your spots. I always tell the kids, it's a sacrifice. Oh, he's made way too many sacrifices. <laughs> many nights of sleeping because I'm doing the playbook. Uh, personal life's kind of upside down because I'm constantly with the boys. Job, I mean, I could have probably went to different units done different things in the police department, but I stuck with the boys. Smile! He puts in thousands of hours in just a few months. I know he don't want nobody to know that or anything like that, but he's an amazing person. I have sacrificed pretty much from head to toe my entire life for the boys, just to show them that people do care. You just got to find the right person. Now how about a goofy one now? <laughs> One, two, three, all right. 
they had one coach the whole time and for Sloan to stick with them and teach them and bring them as far as they have, it's they're gonna remember him forever. <laughs> Running again, let's go, we know the play. We're at our final game. Dang, G, this is it, G. Hold up, guys. We gotta win this game to get to the playoffs. All right, let's go. If we lose, we're done. Charlie Wright, slot motion right, rub on one on one, ready for it. We're four and two going against another four and two team. Let's go, run it, run it, run it, run it. Go. It's a really big game. Good job, hey, that looks sharp. Great job, fellas. I've coached these boys pretty much through their entire life. Good. This is our last year together. There's, there's no next year. You know, I've been thinking about this moment, right? You think about all the time we put in, right? From the time we won zero games, from the time we won two games, from the time we have gotten better and better, right? Yes, coach. You guys have touched me in a different way. I have never been touched before. I want to tell you guys, thank you for allowing me to coach you guys. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your family, all right? Let's go. All right, let's go get a win. Let's go. This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment. Let's go. This is your moment, boys. Today's your day to be great. This is what we love, right? Our three rules, right? Play hard. Play fast. Have fun, right? Yes, coach. All right, family on three, team on six. One, two, three, family. Four, five, six. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I know we're going to win. We can do anything that we put our minds to. We're going to smash them. <laughs> There. Good job. Drive them back. Yeah. One, 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 one. Go get them. 24, 24. Get someone out to trip that ball. Let's go. Hey, 33, 33. There he is, there he is, there he is. Let's go. We gotta talk. Let's go. Blue rally around me. Let's go. Right now. Let's go. Alright, fellas. Zero zero, right? This is your moment, right? This is your opportunity. Ida left open, FB lead right, slot reverse, run pass. What do I do? You get the recruit. You're getting the ball. You're going right in between them. There you go, move it. Oh, go hot. Get it. Get it. Oh. Let's go. Ready, go say. Have fun. Do not play it like it's your last. This is a big game. We go to the playoffs if we win. David, hurry up! We got two halves left! Two halves! You have to play together, guys. It's a lot of game left. Let's get our heads up and let's go hit somebody in the second half. We're a way better team than them. Let's go! It's okay, fellas. Now we're faced with our back against the wall. This is a big moment for us right now. This is it for us right here. There's no tomorrow. Let's go, Hawk. There's no Monday without taking care of business today. We ain't giving them nothing, Hawk. Who's out? Our house. Who we do? Hey. Who we do? Hey. Who's out? Our house. Start bouncing. One, Let's two, go. three, family. Four, five, three. Let's start playing like this. Let's it. go. One. Let's go, Hawk. Right there. Go, 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 Get in there! Get in there! Lost in. My boy. Go back. I knew it. I told you. I told you he's going to do it, right? Did I tell you? I told you he's going to do it. Go get 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 it. Hit him. This is your time now. This is your moment. Let's go. Get you one. This is your moment, D. Get on him. There you go. Watch the scratch. Shoot it, kid. Right there, get you one. Go Lawson, go Lawson. Hey, we need a big play on defense. Somebody strip that ball. That's gonna win the game right now. Let's go, make a play. Get you a fumble. Let's go, let's go! Stop on tackling! Let's go, Hawk. Good job. I need a sack right now. I need one. 
right, offense, let's go, offense. Hey, fellas, this is it. Touchdown drive to win. Who's gonna make the play? Go, he's wide open. Come on, just give him some time, give him some time. Oh, All right, Ida, 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 Ida. David, go! I ain't mad at you, okay? Keep your head up. Keep your head up, all right? That's what happens when you play quarterback, right? You gotta be able to face the crowd. Let's go defense! We got no more timeouts. We gotta do something. Watch two down, watch two down! Eight to seven. Eight to seven. Good job. Good job. I know how hard you guys work, but don't let this one loss define who you are as a person. All right, my eighth graders, stand up. You guys made it, right? <sighs> All right, you guys. I'm proud of you guys. You guys did a great job this year. If you guys ever need anything, you call me, right? Yes, coach. Anything. Yes, coach. All right? Good luck, in high, good luck in high school. Yes, coach. All right. Go, good job. Go. Proud of you guys. Let's go. All right. Be careful, fellas. That world is a crazy world out there. All right. Rally around me. Let's go. Keep back. All right. Proud of you guys. Thank you guys. Let's All right. Let's go. Family on three. Team on six. One, two, three. Family. Four, five, six. Team. All right. See you guys. It's a tough world out there and these kids or my team are exposed to different scenarios than other kids. Be careful AJ. Uh, be careful, be careful, be careful. I mean they're going to be faced with gang violence, gang initiation. Call me if you ever need anything, right? I got you. Be careful. Stuff that other kids probably want to be exposed to as often. You call me if you ever need anything, boy. I will come pick you up personally if you ever get in a dumb situation. I just told my boys, like, you're going to be faced with that moment. Please, please, please rely on everything that I told you. Thank you for ah. taking such good care of my boy and instilling such great values. This is it, you know? There's nothing more. I'm proud of you, Brock. I'm glad you came to the Hawks. No other time with these boys, no other time coaching them and watching them grow. Thanks, Coach. Come here, boy. Started in the beginning, right? Yeah. Look where we're at now. Good job. I want these boys to realize it's more than just football. I'm here for the remainder. Chase, I'm proud of you, man. Be careful in high school, Jace, all right? We are a family. This is, this is more than just football. I always believed in you, PJ. You just gotta believe in yourself, right? You know, we have been through problems like a family. We have had success as a family, just like any other family. Ricardo, I'm glad you came back, man. I miss you when you were gone. Gonna miss my boys for sure. Be careful, be careful, be careful. But they are still gonna be my boys. Thanks for being my coach. All right, Mo. Good job. I'm glad you came back and played this year.